Jefferson Gomez from Brazil. And uh, Bruce said we could not repeat sessions from last year, but we're going to continue from last year <laughs> talking about Brazil. And I will skip all the parts about the fun carnival and stuff like that. We talk about uh, basically two technologies from Brazil that are really impressive right now. And it may sound like I'm showing up but, or showing off, but I'm not. One thing I want to talk about is if it moves. No, it's locked. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A bit on. Okay, so let's talk about the electronic fault in the land of the Amazon forest. Um, Brazil started adopting, adopting the electronic voting in 1996. That's when the process started in Brazil. Then, by this is the machine, uh, people type the number to uh, say means yes, two means no, um, and you can type the candidate number. By 2000, a half of the cities had electronic machines to collect votes. The people in the Amazon forest, the Indians living there, they had no electricity. People get in boats and take the machines there and they will be able to vote and collect those uh, things back to a central place where they could connect to the uh, network and then do the counting for the voting. By 2011, we had a presidential election, 109 million votes, 500,000 machines, and just to tell about the timeline, by 5 p.m. the voting stopped uh, on the East Coast. By 7, it was done on the West Coast. By 8 p.m., 50% of the votes were out counted. By 11 p.m., we knew who the president was. It took four hours. Now, you guys can do that, just need to get to it. <laughs> Federal tax return. Another impressive thing for me, 1991, we started doing electronic tax returns in Brazil. They are the government supplies the software to do the, your uh, tax. It was a DOS program, and you would get these flop disks, do it at home, and go to the agency and give it to them. Here's my tax return. And they would put in mail and to process that. By 1996, Windows was released. By then, uh, 1997, 50% of all tax were electronic. 1997. <laughs> 1999s, they can only be done and submitted online. You can still use paper, but not in uh, 2004 was a Java program was available because uh, people complain about, I use Linux, I cannot, cannot force me to use Windows to run this. So they have a multi-platform available. In 2011, you cannot do paper anymore. If you have to fill taxes, you have to do it electronically. It's not allowed. Uh, so it's a big sponsor of open source software. They develop internal software. They release internally for the whole uh, cities to use and companies to use. And uh, it's a, uh, I think starting to get better now with open data and open golf. And I think, hopefully, it will reflect in better lives for the Brazilians. And that's what I have. Thank you.